Imagine sitting at a bar here at church in Wellesley, having a drink with a friend, and then being asked to leave because you're a fire hazard. One Toronto man said it happened to him here at this pub, and it's not the first time. On Tuesday, Canadian Paralympian Jeff Adams posted this to his Facebook. Hey, the church mouse, a frickin' pub. I got asked to leave your establishment last night because one of your staff felt that me using a wheelchair was a fire hazard. The post sparked outrage online. People shocked and concerned that something like this could even happen. After seeing his post, the Firkin group did reach out to Adams apologizing for what happened. They released a statement to City News saying, We sincerely regret the choice of words and actions used by one of our staff in communication with our guests. This is an isolated incident which we take very seriously and as such are undertaking the retraining of AODA policies next week and remain a company which is inclusive and welcoming to all. The Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act was enacted in 2005 and is meant to ensure equal treatment for people with different abilities. Lori Sue Robertson, a disability advocate here in the city, says while she is very disappointed by this situation, she isn't surprised. Still, despite the AODA and all the progress we've made, many places are still not really ready for people with disabilities. They don't always know how to talk to us, what to say, what's appropriate, what's legal. According to Robertson, this is a widespread issue. Three people commented on Jeff Adams' Facebook post to say this has happened to them too. They could certainly ask you to sit someplace else, but to say leave? Go out of our restaurant because you're a fire hazard? No, not unless you are personally on fire. Robertson says there is a simple solution to avoid situations like this one. People don't realize that they have these barriers. That's what they need to hire somebody for, to come in and say, you can fix this and you can fix that or move this, you know, just to make things work. The City of Toronto says discrimination should never be tolerated and every business owner should try and accommodate people with disabilities. It also says if you see any incidents of concern, you should file a complaint with licensing enforcement. Brandon Rowe, City News.